Well, folks, right around the time we spoke yesterday, a strong storm system tore through Ohio. This is the lightning mapper on GO-16. The system dropped at least one tornado in its early morning fury, and sunrise revealed the damage. While the storm did track on from Ohio and more eventually formed midday and into the evening, and which are still charging through night right now, they were still less severe for the most part. Some reports are still coming in, but tonight the focus on severe weather will be at the far end of its tail. Its convergence in wind control separates in Texas and will drive severe storms there and into Louisiana, while the low itself pounds the northeast with snow. A quick look at the March U.S. climate report here, and it was a bit of a flipped script. The normally hot west took a dive in temperature, and of course April hasn't started any better for them, with most of the rest of the country slightly above average. Top rumble of the last day was a deep blood echo in the southwest Pacific, and then on the exact same latitude we had a deep low velocity zone blood echo strike Peru. Both at very interesting depths and with Argentina already continuing the blood echoes in South America this morning. Up next we go to Comet Atlas, and sorry for those expecting fireworks, the show is falling apart. Fragmentation is observed, and it's not the exciting sideways fracture, it is a linear stringing out of the comet that will steal its potential brightness and send all the material along the same path it's currently on. Here are some key facts. Its coma is big, but not that big. Almost every sun-diving comet gets a Jupiter-sized coma, and it's not going to hit or come close to anything in the solar system, especially because it spends about six hours on the orbital ecliptic plane of the planets, and then it's gone to the south. Its debris will go with it or into the sun, and the ion tail blasted away by the solar wind will hit Earth's ecliptic weeks before Earth passes that position in its orbit. The solar wind will carry it way out and away within just two or three days. So unless Atlas literally explodes, there is no show. But don't worry, the net will freak out like it has with previous comets, most of which were cooler than this one. And don't forget, we do expect to get about two to five of these eccentric intruders every single decade. Well, folks, in a piece that rivals the importance of Chandra's no axion, failed theory of everything report about a week or two ago, we are now here.